2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because now what I want you to do is rely more on these things here to see where your, where, how, your, how your drum sound fits into the bigger picture. So we said earlier, taking risk, taking chances is a good thing. This is a safe risk. You won't, nothing's going to happen. No one's going to point to you and say, Stella, what did you do? No, just try to let the music take over. See what happens. Just see what happens. Take risks. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And stop. Okay. Again, the the, the it takes music. Takes a lot of concentration. It does. Mm -hmm. I would love Donna. Can you play the the maracas? And because we're going to do the same thing, but with different sounds this time. And would you play this drum for me, please? You can hold it in like that. Having goat's toenails would be a, a, a really So whenever I give it to someone, I kind of take the, the one who's like, <laughs> she's going, oh no, why did he give me those, go, those goat's toenails? But they are clean. They have been cleaned, obviously, in process. So, um, all right. You can add whatever you want to the conversation, whenever you want to. However you see that it fits in the conversation. In other words, when we're drumming, you can add whatever you want to the drumming when you see that it's, it's a comfortable place for you to put it in there. And it doesn't matter where you put it or how you put it, it's going to be, it's going to be fine. So much